Hey guys, welcome back to the Matt and Summer YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Tom, Jazz is filming. Hey guys. And today you join us in this idyllic village location in Bathford in Bath. So we'll pop a map up on the screen so that you guys can get your bearings and just see where we are in the UK. But today we're going to be showing you around this beautiful 4.25 million pound contemporary home behind me. It's listed with Sotheby's. So this property has five bedrooms, just under 7,000 square feet, and it also has some incredible garden space, but the interior design inside is insane. It's super grand, we're looking forward to getting in and showing you that, but before we do, we're just gonna show you what the property has out the front. On this stone driveway, we have plenty of room for all of your vehicles. We've also got a two car garage here as well. So like I say, plenty of parking space. There's a beautiful gated access to the front of the property, a very eloquent looking gate. Yeah. And we've also got the property just behind me. As we've already mentioned, it looks absolutely stunning with its traditional style but also there was a fire here over a hundred years ago no one was injured but only the walls remained this property was then rebuilt using local bath stone so that it really fits in with its surroundings and now this is what's here so it's yeah. absolutely incredible we've got side access to both sides of the property but the one on your right is actually substantially wider there's some seating areas there some access from the kitchen and another little bench in the corner so you join us inside now, we're in this really grand entrance. Immediately, I'm looking up to this gallery landing here with the ceiling rows and the chandelier, perfectly framed inside. This entrance space is absolutely huge. We've got the cantilever stairs to my left and a huge mirror to my right, so you can get ready just before you go out, perfectly placed. And we've got a couple of seating areas too. There's also a little boot room in there, so you can store all your coats. Yeah, and I love the window above the door. Yes, yeah, so you can see out from that gallery landing, yeah. right? Coming in here then, we've got this dark mahogany flooring. It's a very open plan room with lots of windows out towards the garden, but we're gonna head this way first. So now it, it becomes this like soft carpet, which is a lot more cozy inside these kind, of, these kind of rooms. We've got a lot of seating areas here, some glass tables. I like the white theme. Yeah, the white theme, very luxury, isn't it? Yeah, very scary. Wouldn't want a bottle of red wine on here. <laughs> a bottle of red wine would not go well in this room. And then we've got the three chandeliers through here as well great entrance and we've got sliding doors now into this kitchen dining space so Jazz if you come with me through here you can separate that off nicely if you wanted it to be so it comes back to the stone tiles now on the floor we've got the zebra print sort of like wall panels yeah and it's they're textured. actually yeah I was gonna say yeah. they're actually textured so it's like almost a bit furry I'm sure no zebras were harmed yeah and this <laughs> dining table is huge right insane good dining space you've also got access behind Jazz out towards the the terrace at the back mm -hmm. so you've got the dining space here but also if you wanted to sit outside in the summer you've got that option yeah i can't help but noticing that the napkin wraps are pearls oh yeah <laughs> it's pretty bougie right yeah. <laughs> okay and then coming through here we've got these italian stone countertops we've got that on the island and the counter this side next to the sink we've also got a mirrored splashback behind the uh, behind the sink which looks great reflects yeah. all those ambient lights but also kind of makes the room feel like a little bit bigger. Yeah, there's also, I didn't realise the ambient lighting was under the Yeah, it's like an underglow, well. isn't it, under here? It looks great. Awesome. So we've got the grey units, which look really good. Jazz actually pointed out, we've got some features on these that match kind of some of the architrave, so it yes. gives that like traditional feel, which is great. We've also got all the Bosch appliances, the ovens, microwave ovens. We've got a Neff induction hob here and two like chandeliers over your kitchen island. Yeah, I know. And there's a TV in here, which is always Yeah, exactly. Handy. So you can... Be preparing some food here while you're watching your favourite show. Yeah, the breakfast stools also match the dining table. Yes, there. that sort of like pinned cushion look. Yeah. They look pretty comfy. They do. And then we've got the fish and pickle fridge this side. Nice. So heading back into this entrance hall then, we've got this humongous space here and the cantilevered stairs again. You get a better look at those now, but we're going to head all the way through this corridor down this way. We've got a downstairs powder room slash WC here. Very, very luxury in here. We've even got a chandelier in the downstairs toilet. Oh yeah. So it's not <laughs> bad, right? I like the little lazy lions in there as well. So then carrying on through, now this comes into a more chilled out vibe in here. We've got the soft carpets in this study area and a very nice blue theme too. Yeah, it looks really, I think a lot of luxury homes do have yeah. that little bluish splash, you know? Yeah. I love these like bespoke shelves too. How we've got all of the features in here perfectly set up for all of these lovely sculptures. Through here then we have this sliding doors again so we can divide it off. Bye. So I can hide away in here while I'm watching TV. <laughs> so if you come through, the blue theme actually continues in here to this sofa that kind of in an L shape goes around and we've actually got the matching pinned 
look as well from there. Yeah, it's just kind of like the cinema room. Absolutely, okay. it yeah. smells great. In here it smells well. <laughs> so good, honestly. I think it's that air freshener behind you. It's so nice. Yeah, it's incense. TV's massive. Yeah. So I can imagine this being a great spot. Yeah, it's even to like enjoy a bit of TV. It's very it's soft as well. It's a little. It's pretty thing. comfy. This. Out of ten. Uh, I'd go for a nine, nine out of ten. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cotch. We've also got like a little mini fridge bar area in yeah. here. So you don't have to leave the space while you're watching the game. Exactly. Your beers are already in the fridge for you. <laughs> and a little stone fireplace yeah. as well, which is nice. And a view up to that back garden. So we're going to show you that at the end. Stay tuned. So coming on through here then, this is the other end of this huge open plan living area that we saw. We've got a traditional fireplace next to Jazz. I love those features with the, uh, the roses and stuff in. Looks really cool. And then again, we've got these three chandeliers down here and a carpet on the wood flooring as well, just to make it feel like, a little bit more cozy. Yeah, I like the curvature of this room. So how, where the Yeah, it back follows door like those is. bay windows, isn't it, Ram? Yeah, exactly. And you've got the nice big plants there. Yeah, nice they look really good, don't they? Isn't it? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's come back through here then. We are gonna head upstairs now, but first we'll swap over so that Jazz can show us the bedrooms. Right okay. guys, so I'm going to take you up the glorious stone stairs and meet you up and show you the bedrooms. Let's do it. Let's go. So now coming onto this gallery landing, we switch from the stone to the carpet and as you can see it actually runs along the side where the banister is. Got an amazing view out to the front of the property as well. And that ceiling rose with the chandelier is just so insane. It's crazy. Yeah, like, all these features around the ceiling as well. But we're gonna take you into the principal room, so it's in and out, so meet you in there. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this amazing, very luxurious master bedroom fitting with the white and like, you know, sandy tones. We have the gold wallpaper, white carpets, looks pretty lush doesn't it yeah yeah it is have this super luxury but very minimal yeah there's not too much in here mm -hmm. and it just makes the, the space perfect so balance. much better yeah, yeah definitely we also have this ginormous bird which i think i need a step ladder to get onto yeah it's pretty big right you. but we're gonna go into one of two bathrooms so on the other side it's worth noting that you know we have this similar layout of an ensuite dressing room so we're just going to show you this one so we have the ensuite and immediately that shower is incredible. Yeah. So we have like this translucent marble with a light behind it. That so, looks so good. Oh, it's like a statement piece. Like we saw that and we were like, wow. Yeah. Like that's And that stunning. kind of takes your mind away from the shower head because it is incredible. But that shower head is also huge. Yeah, it's like, ginormous. Big rainfall shower head. Yeah. We've also got the frosted glass down here, which actually has a toilet behind it, keeping it nice and hidden. Yeah, nice and neat. I like that. Yeah, so do I. And then a big standalone bath. I also like kind of the paneling effect on the walls. Now we have the Male dressing room, very well organized, I must very add. Very well, yeah. And very well lit. We also have a sink, which Tom, you were mentioning earlier on, is a really good addition to a dressing room. Yeah, that absolutely. People might not necessarily think of straight away, because, you know, as a man, you want to shave, get him yeah, ready. Yeah, a bit of grooming. A mirror, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so really nice little addition to that dressing room. I like that you're not overlooked in this bathroom too. Yes. It's very private. Yeah, exactly. So there's no need for the frosted glass Same in the in bedroom. The like you've got great views out the back, but no one can really see in. Yeah, so you can look out into the garden. It's the same as, the main room downstairs with the rounded kind of bay windows. Yeah, the bay out. windows, yeah. Yeah, so should we head on out? Let's do that. I'm gonna take you this way. Yeah. Down, back down the corridor. We've got another chandelier here and nice wallpaper that kind of goes throughout. So in here, we just have an unfurnished spare room. Still a great size. Also great space, spare. plenty you can do with it. And then in here, we have the kind of family guest bathroom. There's no lights on in here, but it's so well lit. There's so much yeah. light coming through because it's white. This marble just reflects it. Big windows, yeah. all that natural light flooding in. Exactly, and a huge standalone bath toilet just behind the door. Yeah. Now we're going to back up again <laughs> <laughs> to the other side. And we have a storage cupboard here to my right but we're going to back straight into this guest bedroom which i really love it's a bit different to the rest of the house so we've yeah. got this kind of dark blue wallpaper in certain areas which is very floral matches this these little <laughs> yeah ornaments yeah, it reminds me of, like the old china plates yeah definitely and we've got a kind of rusticy mirror as well traditional fireplace darker furniture in here as well yeah which is yeah. really nice actually matches the light fittings too oh yeah so in here we have the ensuite, which is a very decent size. We've got the big standalone bath again. And we've also got twin sinks, white marble. 
I'm noticing as well, all of the shower scenes, all the shower screens, sorry, are completely frameless. Frame, yes, it just makes it feel so much bigger in the space. Just so much neater too. Definitely. Right, now coming on back out here, there is another floor. I'm gonna take you up and I'm gonna meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Coming up onto the final floor, we've got some carpeted stairs that lead onto this lighter wooden flooring. Kind of a gym yoga room in here. We've got yeah, all absolutely. these massive mirrors across the walls. Even got a huge TV for you to do yeah, work out too. Joe Wicks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Star Jumps was the go-to for that. <laughs> and then a huge speaker also there. It's got loads of rails of yoga clothes, which is really cool. Yeah. Behind Tom, we have another bedroom. So it's actually got a a pink theme, I'm liking yeah. it. And yeah, it's a nice size bedroom, double bed with an ensuite too. But I'm gonna take you through to this room. Okay, so coming on here, we have like a self-contained flat within the house. I really like it, perfect for a teenager. It's giving me proper princess vibes in here. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. So you've got the marble kitchen with the stain, like the tinted stained mirror glass behind, which looks really good. Got marble countertops, three chandeliers once again, yeah. and a little glass dining area. For more space behind me, we've got a huge storage room which also has its own kitchen in it too. So Very well equipped. So much space in here. Yeah. Now coming on here, we've got switch to carpet. We've got a nice TV in here. We've got the big shutters that can open up and a little bar along with the sofa. And then in here we have the most gorgeous bedroom. We've got this huge kind of pink double bed dressing table and all that. And then, like I said before, huge windows with kind of the shutters to keep it more private at the top of the house where you can see more, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got another ensuite behind Tom and it's got this nice little brown- like porthole. Porthole like window. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. But a massive bathroom in here with a big shower. Yeah, huge sink in there under the mirror. Yeah, so it's really well equipped up here. Definitely great for someone like a teenager living up here, but we're going to show you into the garden, which is just as stunning as the rest of the house. So should we meet him down there? Let's do it. Let's go. So we are now in the garden. It's very luxury out here, isn't it, Tom? Like theme carries on throughout Absolutely, the whole house. Yeah. So we've got this gorgeous stone terrace that overlooks the lawn that Tom is on now. We've got loads of space. We've got all that space over there. There's so much you could do with it. And it just looks so nice to how like minimal and clean it looks. Yes. And then if I come on over here, we've got a nice dining space outside. I'm sure it's so nice in the summer. And then yeah. here we have an access point to the kitchen slash dining room. So you can bring your food out so easily. You don't have to yeah. go all the way around. Summer vibes come out. Summer vibes. Little outdoor oh, yeah. meal. Definitely. And then there's the access point to the front of the house as well. Yeah, the so side got, access down, yeah, down there. Yeah, which good. There's a lot of access points into this garden. There's one at the back as well, which yeah. is like a more subtle. And there's another set of stairs as well. So you can go all the way from the front to the back of the property out of that secluded back exit. Yeah, exactly. We've also got a cool little water feature here. It's like a little fountain with a lion's head. Yeah. Add into that like luxury feel. Yeah. So along here where you can see these hedges, they're actually landscaped so well. They're like, they look like little bows with trees coming out the middle. Yeah, it's, just holding those trees in there. Yeah, it's really nice. And then there's loads of them. We've also got a bit of a stone kind of gravelly path, yeah. path that goes along too. Now here we have all this lawn space. So nice, it's so big. Yeah. It just so nice and private too. Just look at the size of those hedges behind you. Yeah, exactly. Like they're really hidden in here. Yeah, and then the massive stone wall on that size. Yeah. And it's just so symmetrical, the garden with the house as well, yeah. which works really nice. Now coming on over here, we kind of have like a pergola yeah. sort of thing going on. So got another little statue fitting with the like luxury Italian villa vibe in here. Yeah, absolutely. Really like it. It's also got spotlights under there. So yeah, yeah can imagine a nice little bench there. Yes, yeah. There. And like we said at the start of the video, all this stone locally sourced. Yeah. You know, so it really fits in with the surroundings. You can kind of see some of the, the properties next door and stuff. And yeah, all the property really does fit in. I think yeah. as, it, as time goes on too, and it sort of weathers a little bit, it will really start to look like everything around it. Definitely. 
We've got this nice little statement fountain in the middle. It's like a pond and it's got some really nice lilies in there yeah, as well. Yeah, got lilies. Very nicely placed in the middle. Like I said, so symmetrical, so well thought out. There's also another statue there with kind of like a built up wall of a horse. Yeah, a big horse head. Yeah, <laughs> and then another one there. Looks like kind of Julius Caesar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so this house is just so incredible and the outdoor space too. But we're gonna take you now into some of the local area, kind of show you what's around and get a feel for it. So we'll see you out there. Let's go. go. Hey guys, you now join us in Box, which is only a five minute drive away from the property. And as you can see, we're in this abundance of green space, perfect for all you dog walkers or just walkers out there. It's so lovely here. But closer to the property, we have a local shop and also some pubs. The village itself is so picturesque, it's gorgeous. But then only a 15 minute drive away from that, we do have the city of Bath, well known for its Roman baths. And it's just bustling with life. So we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment of your favorite part, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.